$10 worth of parts on this thing, you could actually use it like an X-Pan. This camera right here is known as the Texas Leica Texas because it's big and it's a rangefinder style camera uh, that resembles a Leica. Uh, for example, here's my Leica M3. And as you can see by the size, I mean, just the lens itself is bigger than the camera. This thing is a monster. I mean, seeing it on video, I don't think does it justice when you, <laughs> when you see it in real life, man. It's just a massive camera. Let me see if I can give you an overhead shot just to show you the difference here. So there you are. This is a Leica M3. This is the Fujika uh, G690. The 690 stands for six by nine. This is a wide format camera. Shoots 120 film. Although when I was trying to do a little research, I come across a guy that was loading 35 millimeter film into this with a few um, uh, 3D printed uh, spool sprocket extension whatever you want to call it but if you are or have been looking at the gw 690 if you can find this one right here i would say go for it half the price it's all metal construction brass up underneath this black i just think this camera is beautiful so let's go out and take a couple pictures and uh i'll develop it get them scanned in and see how it looks so with 35 millimeter film we're right, using the app light meter i'm wanting to get back to develop and these pictures don't really matter so let's just guess what Here's what we're looking at here. Got any questions let me know other than that guys i'm going to close this one out i appreciate you we just hit a thousand subscribers so happy about that um thanks to each and every one of you that have subscribed we greatly appreciate it and um, if, if you're new to the channel go ahead and consider hitting that like button and that subscribe as well and uh we'll see you guys next time